Okay, you fucks. We're here. Fucking downtown van. We're gonna do some interviews here. You know, looking at these fucks and uh, see what they gotta say, man. Guys, what came first, trees or sharks? Sharks. Yeah. Sharks. sharks. 100%. sharks. Damn, son. You guys are right. Another quick question. What's inflation now? Eight and a half percent. For this year or like? Yeah. Uh, nine percent? I don't have no idea. Like eleven. I believe in your uh, double chin, but go ahead. Eleven? <laughs> oh. Five and a half. Five. five. Yeah. Okay. You, know you guys look pretty educated. It's about. It it's about five point seven. They say. But you know Trudeau's gonna bullshit around. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's all it's, it's all it's bullshit. Lie, but that's yeah. what they say. It's all yeah. it's all trash. Yeah. It's all trash. Fucking bacon shit's up like ten yeah. percent shit. So it's like, what, really, what do you put that? Fuck bacon. That shit's not even halal. Yeah. I'm not even Muslim, <laughs> and that shit's not halal. <laughs> I taste that shit. It tastes like fucking processed cheese. It tastes like trash. Hey, you want to be in it? What's up? What's your name? Amir, bro. Amir. Where you? I'm from Vancouver, North Van, bro. North Van, but North you're Van. real Persian though, huh? Bro, you guys. Low key. Think, my name's Amir. You think I'm from a North Van? I'm not Persian. I'm Indian, bro. Oh, Amir. He's got a Persian. Oh, all I Persian? know all my boys. Where are you from? I, I I live near this. Guy as well. What have you done that your don't know? I can't tell you. Oh shit. You know. feel like you can open up to me, man? I gotta open up for the camera. Open up. Spread him. <laughs> I I yeah, yo, I got an interview going, bro. Just yeah, yo, come on in, come on in. Don't uh, worry about no, nothing. No, don't. My parents don't know. Come on, man. Come on. Bro, okay. Me and I, you, 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 me both know we have yeah. brown parents. Okay. Anything that she does. Yeah. Bro, my parents don't know. So you did the, like. My parents a... found my. Ba yeah. Bam, bro. I was. Done. Eat ass, and your parents found out, or what? Of course. Yeah, Low key, ass. huh? You were, course, you were mid eating ass, no, and your no, parents no. found out. One up. time, I'm hitting it from the back, okay? Yeah. My parents walk in. Guy or girl? But guy. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sus. I'm hitting it from the back, okay? Okay. Ass or, ass or puss? Mama walks in. Okay. Puss. Mama walks in. Yeah. I look her in their eyes. I'm like that. Ball, game over. GG's, ball. I'm done. I was done. Did let you finish or no? Nah, she didn't let me finish. Damn. Came over, pots and pans, the cast iron, the steel. Boom, I was done. Yeah. I was done. Biggest cock block in the century, huh? Of course, bro. I can't even get my mad at him. Like, she's my mom, bro. I can't even get mad at her. Did you tell your dad? What did he say? My dad was ass too, but he was like, I have oh, good dad. Man. He dabbed me up too. He dabbed, he dabbed me you up, but hit you in the He dabbed me up too. He hit you out of prince. He was more like, he was like, tuck the balls and go deeper. You know exactly. What I mean? He wanted me to keep he was on proud. going. Yeah. But then mom was like, fuck you, bro. And I was like, all right, all right, but. Damn, son. We're here. We're queer. No, that was Davey. Okay. Now we're on Granville. We're not that queer. But we're trying to look for people and interesting people. But I feel like it's just not that interesting. You know what I mean? People are just not that interesting right here. You know? So we're going to keep it walking. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to see what's up. Smoke weed. Smoke weed? Yeah. Nothing else? Not a little really. bit of yayo, you know what I mean? No? Yeah. No? Let's think up. Yeah. How much are you going to pay? How much? No. I, I never. I know. Oh, you're not going inside? No. What about you guys? Maybe. One, two, three, four, five? <laughs> yeah. Who's the best looking guy here? You? Me? Thank you, man. Yeah. This guy, <laughs> come <laughs> over here. Como estas? Muy bien, muy bien. Ah. Um, where are you guys from? Mexico. 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 Cartel. Cartel. <laughs> and you? Me? Egypt. Egypt. No, I'm, Egypt. I'm from Iran. Iran? The, yeah, the most terrorist oh, place. Oh, all yeah. the terrorists. All we, the terrorists are, are there. We are the second. You guys have cartels? We, the we have terrorists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what we do. Um, what are you guys trying to do tonight? You guys are trying to get some girls, drink, or what? Hey, no, I just corona. Drink. Corona. Yeah, uh, see. Si, Vendejo. See. Si. Where, where I can find girls? Girls? Yeah. Depends like what kind of girls. No, 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 no. Guys that look like girls? Anywhere. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> girls? <laughs> Girl <laughs> girls? It's gonna be tough, man. Look, they're all going inside, man. What the fuck? Oh, no, like like uh, strippers, you know? Strippers? Yeah. You're not. You're gonna just pay money for that. You're not gonna get no action, oh, bro. Right oh no, this is not Mexico, man. Listen, no, that, in Mexico, that, 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 you go to strip I, club, you get action. That, Here, that's you go to strip I, club, you go broke. Yeah. Oh you, really? Oh, bro, they take all your money. Okay. At the end of the night, they say, "Good job, thank you so much." Welcome back, guys. Uh, funny but foul. This is post. After, well, yeah. What, what do you want to call it? This after, call, hours? after hours. After hours. After nice. hours. Nice. We got an after hours one. Fun. After hours. People are probably wondering why the fuck after hours. All of our shits after hours. Exactly. So but why this, is this one, one special. This one's legit. Pass me mine, please. 
Uh, this one's legit, man. We went out for the first time, trying to get some interviews, feeling the crowd, seeing what's what. You know, I was excited. Um, I wouldn't say we were nervous per se. We're just trying to feel it out, see what's good, you know. And I would say it was a little bit more dead than we are used to. I mean, this is post-COVID, so we are kind of yeah. trying to get used to it. But from what I remember in my early, you know, late teens and early uh, early 20s, it was way more packed than this. This is dead. But you've been working downtown here and there the last year or so, have you not? Yeah. When I was working at Levels, it was way more bumping than it was like when we went tonight. Tonight, it was like, you know, there was a little bit of a lineup, but the lineup was kind of dead. Now, that Asian community kind of is like more calm. But when you were at Levels, it was that still was COVID. During, yeah, that was during COVID. So why, what is it They're not, running at 50% busy? right now. No, they're not. Yes, are they, they are. Actually? Yes, they are. I didn't. Th- I didn't know that. Yes, they are. I didn't they're living. Know that. They're 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 working at at fifty percent capacity. Why? Uh, not enough doormen. First Fair of enough. all. Fair enough. Um, there are too many complaints to the police. Really? You know, because you gotta understand, just like any other bar could get shut down for being too rowdy. Yeah. Levels can get shut down for being too rowdy. If you got too many VPDs going there, they're not not, not a good look. Well, not only that, but like. If you have, they they have a liquor board. That's the most important. If the liquor board walks in, there's a bunch of drunk fucking people. IDs one person, and that person is underage. You are absolutely fucked. But hasn't that always been a risk for them, Corona or not? Uh, yes, but even more so now because now they they really got to pay the bills. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Now they really really got to pay the bills. So I I feel like moving up. They want to move up slowly so that they have no kind of consequence. Um, no deterrence, no, you know, headaches moving forward. But anyway, we went there. It was okay. What'd you think of it? Oh I, I, yeah. I was just going to say, I mean, we've talked about it for a while now. I think we did it a bit early because, you know, it's still like cold outside. It's still kind of shitty weather. Mm. Um, it is only April. Kids are still in classes and it's not really s- summer. I think I was telling you when we were walking down gas town, like down water street, Mm-hmm. I was like, if it's still like this during summer, then you got problems. Yeah, then I remember you like, saying that. Then something's going, like something's up. Then you got to be as like, as a barman or as a manager or whatever. Then barman? You gotta, what is that? I don't know. Someone works at the bar. Right, it's okay. like a longshoreman. <laughs> uh, then you got problems, right? Like if yeah, at that yeah. point, you know, fucking June or yeah. God forbid July, it's still like that. Or, or when we were walking down Granville, mm-hmm. and I was like, yo, let's go and walk on the street. I'm like, oh, wait, shit. Can't it's not wa- summer yeah, yet. It's, it's yeah. not summer yet. But if it's still like that during summer, then you got some issues. I don't think so. I think people are going to come around. It's just it's just a matter of people being like, you know, feeling safe, com- wanting to come out. Yep. And honestly, I feel like, not I feel like, but I, I have yeah, cause a you don't, hypothesis. You don't feel. I don't feel. Black <laughs> heart sign. I have a hypothesis that, People have become generally more introverted during COVID. Yeah, I I think that's a pretty sound hypothesis. And I it's going to take a little bit of time. I'd say three to six months maximum um, before people have a turnaround and, and start trying to uh, go into like, um, you know, kind of social scene. It's going to start off with more people going to festivals and concerts initially because now they really... Um, because they dragged it on with COVID, right. people really appreciate that now. Like, how many times are you going to see Elton John in Vancouver? That's actually how many times yeah. are you going to see you know X person in Vancouver? So people yeah. are going to go to that. Once that scene kind of dies down, ticket prices rise too high that people get broke. The general population, that middle class, yeah. is going to come down to bar, you know, stuff like that. Then that's where we come in. That's the perfect time, you know. It's interesting because at the beginning of the pandemic people's outlook on how we would come out of the pandemic was a lot different than the current reality. But at, it wasn't so bad, huh? At the beginning, no, but I mean, people were expecting us to come out of the pandemic very quickly. And I don't mean like after a year, we'd be done. I mean, in the, in the actual rollout or the actual wrapping up of the pandemic, it'd be like... Within a day, or like everyone, we like stop and celebrate or something. Yeah, yeah. Where in reality, it's been this, it's been dragging out and it's been very slow, gradual yeah. steps, right? L- this and that's like, okay, now masks, masks are done. Now restrictions are done. Yeah. Now this is, it's like, it's all been 
And there has been like an official announcement like, all right, Corona's yeah. over. And I think that's what people expected. So I remember talking to some friends or even before we went to work from home at our company, people were like, oh yeah, when we come out of this, we're going to have a, it's going to be, it's going to feel so great. And then people were like, yeah, we're, and like my, some friends were going, yeah, we're going to like throw a fucking huge party. It's going to be like a celebration. Like, don't worry. When we come out of this, like that was the mentality. Yeah. Right. They almost viewed it as, you. as a war. Like when the war is over, all right, we're yeah, going to yeah. fucking get lit. Party, yeah. That, and that, that hasn't the been case. the case right now. Right. So it's like, we're, we're kind of coming out of it a bit and it's like, yeah, people are going out, but it's not this like big, everyone's coming out of their holes kind of celebration thing. Yeah. So we'll see how it comes out. I mean, fuck, maybe summer comes around and then all of a sudden it's bumping. Who yeah. knows? Hopefully. But I thought I thought tonight was great. Tonight was good. I what was the highlight of tonight? <laughs> a lot of highlights. Uh, what was the highlight for you? What are you going to do? Like the next person you talk about tonight with, what are you going to say? Like the boys or whatever. Probably the incident at Aura. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? Give me a give me a description. Give me you were you were you were you were right, watching me do it. Let, let me for the viewers describe. Let's the, watch it first. Yeah, but for the viewers who don't watch, because there no, are because no, they will watch, right? Uh there's a lot of people who just listen to us. Hold on, let's just <coughs> for for recording purposes, we could cut this out. But yeah, that's the one. All right. I don't know why it's cutting in and out like that. Oh, it's because you have your hand over the mic. Oh, what the fuck? You might have touched something. Oof. Let's go back to okay. Let's pause here. Since I saw this, I'm gonna give my quick 15 seconds on it, okay. and then you go ahead and give your take since you were obviously a part of this, and then you just watched the the playback. So, we started recording just outside Aura, and the idea here is that Armon was gonna go ahead. I was gonna hang back a bit and film from a distance, and then once he found a crowd or like a couple or some people that wanted to actually talk to him then i get closer and then um start filming them similar to how we did it at uh what was it did we go to celebs yeah yeah right celebs. outside celebs by at, at davy so we were walking past this crowd of people who were looking like high, it was high energy right so they were like rowdy like they were they were already like shouting earlier screaming and shouting all over earlier here. earlier we already heard, heard it right that's why i wanted to get closer i'm like Let, let's film it and then i'm like yo i'm like Get close. So he gets in there and he starts trying to interview. And the thing is, I can't hear anything because it's it's loud outside. And the mic that he has, I, I have, I'm not connected to it at all. So I actually can't listen at all. I can only hear like loud things every now and again. Yeah. So at one point, I heard something like, "Um, hey guys, that's all, like the, it was very like brief for me, right?" And then all of a sudden, like I could tell that like something was changing because it went from like jokes to then someone stopped joking. And then at one point I saw a dude like trying to like, I don't want to say describe you, bro. Yeah. You're like, he wasn't like, cause he didn't like full on slap. Right. I'm trying to think like he was trying to like, Oh, what? Maybe like flicker. Yeah. Flick. Yeah. Yeah, Trying to like flick your like face or something. And that's when (laughs) it was so funny. Cause I remember looking at you and that's when you got a bit more serious and you're like, okay, okay, okay. And then I, (laughs) I, I could had to see keep you, it in mind, man. I could see you like put the mic away very <laughs> carefully. And I'm like, oh damn, this guy's I looking just... out. This guy's looking out for the equipment. I'm like, damn, okay. And you put it away. You zip up your jacket, and then right away, you just fucking went out. You you swung on him, and then and then you got into your fucking stance. And then those guys, uh, two guys, there were three guys. Two of them backed off right away, and then one guy. He, he kept walking towards us, but he wasn't really do it. He wasn't really interested. He it was actually behind the girl. He didn't really want it. Well, well she, she got in there. We'll, we'll drop the footage, but he was behind the girl yeah. trying to like chase. Like you know, that's she, she she got in, and then the reason I said earlier is that he didn't really want much is because he could have easily pushed her out of the way and kept after you, but he didn't. We can watch it again or whatever. But I would just want to show you something as far as you're saying this, but 
And here's the thing. I actually didn't get, because all this was happening, I didn't get all the footage. <laughs> like, okay, just watch. It's like yeah, partial. It's hard. It's hard. Yeah. It, uh, to be fair, Hector's job is extremely hard not to react and get the clean yeah, footage. <laughs> the it's very difficult. <laughs> Plus, given, I'll give him this credit. This was the best he could do on point for the first time trying to record this you know action going on and he doesn't have the widest angle guys he has to like step on the street yeah yeah okay let's just watch this real quick okay i put it away he flinches right there he does right i, I see that big now. time flinch i see that now he turn, never not e wants not even flinch literally turn away yeah yeah none of these guys wanted the smoke watch this kid no, right no. here let's watch it again actually go back Let's watch it again. Don't watch yourself or the guys. Just watch the people in the background. See if you can find anything. Because that's actually sometimes more fun. Dude, look at this kid. Yeah, literally watch everyone in the back. Look at the girls. All right. Oh, she pulls him back. People in the back. This guy. This guy's like, something's going to happen. It's like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Let's go back again. Damn, she called you an idiot and a retard. We got to go back, man. You can't stand for that shit. Uh, <laughs> no, girl's got to pass. Um, go back a bit. She was, she was trying to, she she was know, trying to help. I'm kidding, man. She was trying to de-escalate. Sort of. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, let's watch. Okay, let's. let's I, eye on the lady. Eye on the lady. All right, one more time. This oh, gets man. better literally every time you watch it because <laughs> every time you watch it, you should not look at the same thing. So go back again. Let's look at the guy in the mustache. <laughs> mustache guy. Ready for mustache guy. Right there. He's liking it, man. He's smiling. He's like, hell yeah. Tell me, man. This gets better every time. Listen, all I got to say But enough of this because we got to... Uh, yeah, we got to no, no, no. Go, go ahead and say your thing, but yeah. obviously put this away. The fighting mechanism... Not mechani mechanism. The mechanical movement in fighting only gets better with time. So the more we do this, I guarantee you guys there's going to be more of this. Hopefully, I don't get a felony here. But <laughs> I am trying to... I am trying to... Uh, Stand up for us, but I'm also trying to not fight at the same time. No, no, the more you want to, the more you fight and actually train, the less you actually want to fight. Hundred percent. Listen, I I will say this honestly for me. I didn't view this as Armand trying to find a scrap. That's not what this was, and this not. If you watch the footage, you know you guys be the judge. But when I saw this happen, I saw it like, yeah, obviously it was a rowdy crowd fine so we kind of took a risk there getting into that because they're they're rowdy right, they're right. drunk yeah. they're with a group of people people always get bigger in groups they feel like they're bigger <sighs> so we went into it because we wanted to get content when we went in you know arm us up with some questions or whatever and then one guy in that group just decided to take it a bit too far and he took a risk he shouldn't have and then he, he paid for it that's really all that it was it's not armand went there trying to like antagonize people and then want to throw hands he really was just kind of defending himself because you know these guys are starting to like encroach on on us really like if they didn't want to ask if they didn't want to answer questions because said hey fuck off and we just won we would have just went on our way we would that wouldn't have been enough for you to been like hey whatever yeah so it is what it is but makes for good content it was beautiful um going next uh i think uh the general idea here was uh that <clears throat> we're still feeling it out this is you know our first I mean? time doing it. First time doing it. I think we're we're feeling it out. And there's different times. Like I was telling Hector, there's different times. So let's say if we recorded like in the late afternoon, like let's say 3 to 6 p.m., 7 p.m. Yeah. You know, Stadium Chinatown going around that square and just what people smoking weed and stuff like that. That'd be a good spot to like just roll up and be like, hey, how you guys doing? Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. But well, nighttime, Granville. Has Granville. To, yeah, it has to be. Granville, Davy. I'd say Davy even better. The thing is, Davy is like two concentrated pockets, and that's it. Yeah. Because with Granville, there's enough things going on that you could just walk around. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, the other thing that I'll add to that is similar to this: the podcasting. 
we're only going to get better at it over time. Absolutely. Right. So that this whole like run and gun, you know, feeling people on the go will only get better the more we do it. And this was literally our first night yeah. doing it. Right. So we're going to do this again really soon. For those who don't know, we will be filming on Wednesday, uh, 420. We'll be going around talking to people just similar to this, but obviously different vibes, better vibes. Hopefully better vibes. For no sure. Fights. No, 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 fights. no, no. I, I'd be, I would be shocked. I would actually be shocked. If yeah. if I saw anything go down, because the the vibe is different generally than people who are on weed. It'll be daytime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fuck's trying to catch a scrap in the day. Nobody. No one's like Nobody. fucking pissed drunk. And I I don't think Irish people are too into uh, <laughs> That's uh fucking Irish, man. the the weed the weed scene. I would say. Yeah. I'd say they're more into the alcohol scene, which is which is a li- a little riskier, but it's also a little a, a little bit more uh, scrappy. And and I think if if those guys weren't Irish, I don't think we'd have a fight. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, there's a reason why we went there because they were rowdy. And like I said, that was just a risk that we took as it's, a bet. And, and and I'm happy with that That's bet. That's all. Though. I'm happy with that That's bet. That's all, right? I'm happy with that bet. We were there wanting to get some content. And we we did. We're going to get some content. You know what's funny? What's up? You could use that first part where they're screaming as like a compilation for for like for our channel. Like, you know, you, you could cut a clip where yeah. people think we're amazing because they're screaming for us. There's one right there. Yeah. They're not screaming for us, cause that's really, but nobody knows the difference if we cut it that way, right? Yeah, yeah. If you just cut a bunch of clips of sc- people screaming and you're there, you make it seem like people are like cheering you on or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah. So we could use that, th- that footage. Fake it till we make it. Any number of ways. Yeah. We can use the fight. We can use the screaming. We can use whatever. I think it was a success. Uh, I'm proud of us. That was fun. It was a good time. It, it was, was a good time. I would do it again. Yeah. Uh, Next time will be a little bit more calculated with a little bit more uh, timing, but I think with the with the with the things we had with the tools we had, we did a fucking fantastic job. And I want to just give it up to my boy, you know, on point, you know, as crisp as you can be as a first case scenario, my boy right here, man. Appreciate that, dog. Always give us some last thoughts, man. Last thoughts. I thought you did really great. Now we're just here like drinking each other off. But for real, I thought I, th- <laughs> I thought you did great, man. You you basically you, you took point on this this whole thing. I want to definitely give it a go on Wednesday because I think it's it's only fair that we, we both get experience with both things. Makes Absolutely. Sense. Um, but I got I got I got to hand it to you. You you took it like a champ. You 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 led the thing from the beginning. You went uh, you went up to people. You asked them a bunch of bullshit. Some of it hit, some of it didn't. There was some fucking water. There was some moments where Dude, I'm like, yo, this is port so cringy. Si- port side was hilarious. It's like, my birthday. And she yeah. was like, what the fuck did you tell her? I was like, I was like, you need to fucking relax. Uh, I'm like, I'm like, I don't need to relax. It's yeah. my birthday. Yeah, yeah, she's like, it's my birthday. I'm like, the world doesn't revolve around you. And then she walked away. Yeah, I saw that. And brutal. Good times. But Strike other than that, um, no, th- hey, it was fun. There was some good stuff. There was, uh, there was some moments like... The girl. I think I think we did six six and we're four for six. I think so. So that's not bad. We'll see what the clips say, but yeah, I think so. I think that's four for six. Like the, we had four positives. Yeah. Some of them weren't as entertaining, sure, but if four to two bad experiences, not bad. And and the second one, it wasn't even that bad. It was just like she was like super entitled. So it's like she felt like. She was just because it's her birthday. Like, bro, how many girls' birthdays tonight? <laughs> All ton, you fuck. You know, and you're not even that hot. She was like, the I the the thing with me that pissed me off about that was that she was like a six and a half at best. At best, and the only reason I approached was because I saw them fighting. Right, I I saw them fighting. <laughs> that uh, seems to be what we're going for. At, it makes for good content, at, man. And I went there because I was like, okay, well, they seem rowdy, right? Because now what it is is when you read people. If they're too closed in and they're just like waiting or whatever, they're not going to have interesting shit to say. There was a lot of cute girls out there. Yeah. But like you go up to them, they'd be like, oh, I don't want to get recorded or, or yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, they got nothing to say. So it's boring. But you go up to people that are fucking rowdy already. It's a good <laughs> risk. It's a good risk I'm willing to take. Huh?